How do we really know when something is right or wrong? Mom, how do I really know what I'm doing is a sin? That's a good question. What is sin? And are all sins the same? We've been talking about freedom not as license, not as the ability to do whatever we want, but rather as the gift to live in God's goodness, to live according to God's law and in the light of his love for us. Yet one of the consequences of the freedom that God gives us is our ability to reject him, to reject his moral law, to live according to our own choices and our own devices. We see that already in the book of Genesis at the beginning of the Bible when Adam and Eve reject God, throw him off, and want to be their own gods. We label that rejection, we define that refusal as sin. The church fathers say that sin is the misuse of the powers and gifts that God has given us. That's a great definition because it points to the fact that even those who sin think they're choosing good and are using gifts that God has given them, but simply not for the right purpose. So sin is really a refusal to live in relationship with God and with others, and rather to choose for egoism, choose for self, to enclose ourselves in our own little world with ourselves at the center rather than God at the center. There's a gradation of sin, isn't there? Not all sins are equal. In the Catholic Church, we define that difference as the difference between a mortal and venial sins. Mortal, which means deadly, is a sin that is so grave that it severs our relationship with God. And therefore, to get back into right relationship with God, we, we need to go to confession. We need to confess that sin and experience the healing power of His forgiveness and grace. Some examples would be adultery or murder. As Catholics, we still say that you know, missing Sunday Mass consistently will gradually diminish and even kill that life of grace within us. Venial sins are sins of less importance. They're still sinful, but they don't sever that relationship with God. You know, telling a white lie or, or cheating on a test, perhaps, are examples of, of venial sins. The whole point of the Christian life is to move from egoism and self into an ever fuller relationship with God and with others. Sin are those moments of choice when we step back from that grand project of salvation and grace. The good news of our faith is that even when we sin, we can go to Jesus Christ through his church and start over again. Like the prodigal son, we can return to the Father's house, and that is good news for us. It's the year of faith, and we're connecting Christ and the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Ignite your faith. Share this video with a friend and spark up a spirited conversation today. So what's the next C4 all about? We invite you to come back and see for yourself.